Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Legends of Heroes Trails in the Sky. So, as with all my LPs, this is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, but um, I'm finally going to get around to it. And one of the reasons I've been wanting to do it for a little while is because I've never actually beaten this game. Um, my experience with this game is I bought it almost like right after it first released on Steam, back in like 2014. I played the first couple hours of it, and then just stopped. I just couldn't get into it. I didn't dislike it. I just couldn't really get into it. And then, maybe about a year later, it was actually, um, maybe like six months later, it was almost like four years ago, because I was looking at my achievements just to see like when I just actually started playing the game. And it was in March, like mid-March of 2014, I think. Or maybe 20, maybe it's been five years since I last played this. I don't remember. But it's been a while. Um, but I got to the very end of the game and just stopped playing it and then never finished it. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but it's been so long I don't remember anything about the game. So I figured I'm going to start from scratch and I may as well do it as an LP. So um, I guess we'll just jump right in. Um, oh man, am I gonna am I gonna regret picking the highest difficulty? Is that is that something I should do? Am I going to hate myself for doing this? <sighs> you know what? After after the, the difficulties in Final Fantasy IV, picking the highest difficulty, we're just going to go with normal hard. We're not going to... Because like I said, I've never beaten the game, so I will, I will uh, spare myself that. Even though I don't really remember the game being hard at all, but, you know, who knows. So, what do, what do we got? We got some... We got some girl. Daddy's really late. I even got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today, too. Man, it's got some, some really uh, good music. I really like this, like, theme or whatever. Especially, like, the opening theme. Like, because I've been kind of, like, wary about starting this game. Because anytime I start something that, like, I haven't finished before, I'm a little... Plus, it's a pretty long JRPG. Um... I get like commitment issues, but as soon as I launched the game today and like I heard the opening theme, I was like, yep, I, c I can do this. Like, good music just, it, it just, I don't know, there's, it's indescribable. Like, the effect it has. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll just practice with my staff a bit more before dinner. Hey, I'm home! Sorry to have kept you waiting. Dude, look at that fucking stash! Dude, he's the suavest dude out there. Did you take care of the house while I was away? Of course I did. Did you run into any trouble? I'm not calling him daddy. This is not happening. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend that word doesn't exist in the dialogue. Um, you didn't get hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? Nope, I'm fit as a fiddle. That reminds me though, I brought you a present. Really? What kind of present? A new fishing pole? Sneakers? Something for my training? Maybe I raised you wrong, Estelle. Aren't little girls supposed to like clothes and jewelry? I like pretty clothes, but they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you go play outside with it. Uh, anyway, what's with the big blanket? Is that my present? Oh, you're a sharp one. Now why don't you come have a look? We got you a, a slave! <laughs> I got some human chattel here for you. <laughs> what? Well, here you are. Quite a handsome boy, don't you think? Wh what? What? What is my- why is my present a boy? Don't make such a fuss or you'll wake him up. Wake him up? You mean he's still alive? He looks kind of dead if you ask me. Well, that's what they do, so you can take him into slavery. I've treated his wounds, so he should be in a stable condition. In the meantime, however, we need to let him rest, so that he can start working the fields for us. <laughs> I'll put him to bed, so if you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of water on the stove, I'd appreciate it. I need to get up and close my door. Eh. Even though no one's home, I still just I feel weird having my door open. Um, he sure sleeps soundly, and he almost looks the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that too. He certainly does have a nice head of dark. What the, don't say it like that. And a pair of amber eyes to go. Dude, you're creeping awful hard. That's nice and all, but how come? How about you come clean and fess up? Fess up. 
yeah, who is this kid anyway? And why is he hurt? Why did you bring him to our house? Is he an illeg illegitimate child or something? Did you betray mommy? Um, see, notice I don't have any problem saying that, but I can't say daddy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, where have you been picking up on these kinds of words? No doubt from... I'm not even gonna fucking attempt that name. Oh, that girl's gonna get me into trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, I just met this boy while I was out on business. I don't even know his name. You mean Brazer business? Something like that. Oh, look. Huh? He's waking up. Hmm. Wow, his eyes really are the color of amber. But where am I? So you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here, so please just try to rest. What are you trying to pull? Huh? You must be out of your mind. What? Why don't you just leave me there to die? Oh, he's one of those characters. Uh, why? Now that's a question I don't know how to answer. Does things just worked out that way work for you? Don't toy with me, Cassius Bright. You have any idea what you're getting yourself involved in? Oh my god. <laughs> you're sure shouting a lot for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Oh, well, he's hurt now. She just jumped on his chest. He's dead. Oh my god. Why does this keep wanting an update? Where's my mouse? I can't find it. It won't It won't show me the mouse so I can tell it I'm not going to update today. There we go. <laughs> it did that to me in an episode I was recording earlier today. At least there, but like on this game it doesn't like show my cursor, which I mean is good, but um, I couldn't find the little tiny screen until I was trying to update something. Um, just who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle! Estelle Bright! She's my daughter. Well, yeah, I could figure that much out. Um, now that you mention it... Wait a minute, don't try and take the sub... He's, his ribs are crushed. Alright, alright already. Did you jump in on me like that? It's gonna make me heal any faster. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Damn, she's cold. Look, jumping like that on me is just going to make things worse. Do I hear yelling? <sighs> As a word of advice, it would be wise not to argue with Estelle while you're in this house. Even I wouldn't stand a chance if I made her mad enough. Yeah, I can see that. By the way, aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Your name, you know that thing that people call you? I told you mine already, so don't you think it don't you think it would be unfair and impolite to not tell me yours? Uh Seems a logical thing to do if you ask me. Trying to hide it now would only serve to your detriment. Fine. My name is... And we'll never know. DN. Roll credits. Oh, okay, you know. It's a JRPG, gotta have your fucking anime opening, I assume. So we got a harmonica. We got a... Uh, a dude. So I only, you know, just to kind of preference while this is going on, I don't remember any of the plot. I remember the very kind of beginning, like, the kind of start of it. I remember one part kind of towards the end, and that's it. So this is almost effectively a blind let's play. There will be part parts where I'm like, oh, I remember that. But, like, the beginning I'm a little more familiar with, because I've played through the first, like, maybe four or five hours twice. Um, you know, when I originally played the game, and then when I came back, I started from the beginning again. But, also, that's been, like I said, like five years. Because it was March, I think 2014. I can't remember what much. Because I was looking at it. I think maybe it was 2015. It's been four or five years, basically. So, and it only takes me about six weeks to completely forget something. It's, like, actually really bad. Like, <laughs> my, uh, my memory is quite awful. Um, you know, something else that was kind of interesting is that I was, uh, speaking of, like, it being March and it being, like, almost exactly five years since I last played this game, was that I was, uh, recording an episode of Geese earlier today and noticed that it had been almost, like, six years since I had first played that game, just looking at my old save games. Just kind of, it seems to be that I'd start lots of games in March for some reason. Because it's not even like it's spring, I mean, I guess maybe it was, like, spring break type stuff. But it's not even that yet, because I still don't have that until next week. 
a week after next. Because today is the... This is the first. Yeah, it's the first of March. So, I personally haven't gotten anything out of this opening yet. I mean, you've just kind of seen the various characters be introduced. And I only remember, like, two of them. Like, you got, you got, you know, cliche anime dude with spiky hair and big sword. You got Cloud Wannabe. You got some airships. You got some, uh... You got an old lady. Man, they, they really got a thing for these seagulls, though. Hmm. Got a smart dude with some uh, glasses that I have no clue how they stay on his face. There's like no, there's Morpheus nose glasses. I have no clue how that shit's supposed to work. we go. That's the game. The end. One thing you probably could pick up there is that uh, they're a lot older when the game actually starts than like that beginning scene. They're not actually children. They're just like young teenagers or like mid-range teenagers. Oh, it's so bright in here. That must mean it's Dad's turn to cook this morning. I wonder if that means Joshua's still in bed. Oh yeah, his name's Joshua. I didn't actually remember that. Uh, I guess that's a no. I assume it's the harmonica, those, you know, the opening, like, showed a harmonica prominently. I guess that's a big deal. Nice, Joshua. Bravo. Good morning, Estelle. Oh, so you know something I just realized is that this video is actually going to go I mentioned recording Yeast earlier, that this video is going to go up before that series, now that I think about it. I believe. Because that's not going to go up until next Saturday. But that's... I'm playing through the first Yeast game also that's going to go up soon after this. It's like a Saturday series, like once a week. Um, I hope I didn't wake you. No, I was already up when I heard you start to play. I can't believe how awake you are, though. Even the roosters still have bags under their eyes. I mean, it looks like it's like noon. It doesn't look like it's that early. I mean, look how bright it is. Not that I mind, what with that siren song that you're gently lulling this beautiful woman from. Well, shouldn't a siren song be doing the opposite? What do you mean, woman? We're the same age, and I'm hardly a man. <sighs> how wrong you are, Joshua. We may be the same age, but I am clearly the woman of the house. And that makes you something like my loyal follower, <laughs> wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah, how fortunate for you. You could at least try and sound a tiny bit sincere. It really is a nice tune, though. Cheerful, yet somehow wistful. It's like your other songs, too, of course, but this one's my favorite. Uh, what's it called again? The Whereabouts of Light. Okay, that's a pretentious-ass name. That's right, The Whereabouts of Light. Wish I could play the harmonica like you. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Uh, I think the harmonica's much easier. It's really just a matter of concentration. You're probably right. I guess my problem is that uh, if I don't do something that uses my whole body, I start to feel drowsy. I'm the exact opposite. The more, the less I use my body, the better. Um, all your hobbies are sitting around kind of stuff like reading the music. What a nerd. No girl's going to be impressed with just that. Well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Although, uh, I believe I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. What kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs, and has a fetish for sport shoes? <laughs> fetish for sport shoes? I've never heard the, the term fetish applied to that. Um, and for your information, I graduated from blood collecting a long time ago. Really? I believe that when I stopped finding beetles in the hallway. 
So this game, as you can tell, is very dialogue heavy. Um, and it's also like a really slow start. That's one of the things why I couldn't kind of get into it way back when I first played it. It's because it's a slow burn. But, I mean, the writing's very good for the most part. Like, I do enjoy it. Like, all this kind of jovial, talky type stuff. I mean, I, I personally really enjoy that stuff. But hopefully it's not too much of a too much of a drag at times because it does go slower since I'm mostly gonna read the uh, voice acting or like do read the dialogue I guess I'm not gonna read all of it because that's gonna take way too long but but yeah boy am I stuffed are you eating or inhaling Estelle hmm, like people say kids who eat and sleep a lot grow a lot Make sure you get enough to eat, but don't forget to pour that energy into your work, too. Dude, how is this mustache still the exact same after all these years? That's impressive to, like, keep it that, like, well, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Maintain? I don't know. Um, you two are finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? That's right, I'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. Once we're finished, we'll be bracers just like you. That means I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore, either. You still lack understanding, Estelle. You can only become a junior bracer in the beginning, or in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard in your training and become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work, so what is a bracer? I think it's like, it's like a Ventures Guild, I think, something like that. Um, don't you watch and see what I'm capable of? I'll be so successful, it won't be long before I pass you too. That's the spirit. Let's see what you're made of then, shall we? Nestel, keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today, remember? Huh? Wait, what test? That's literally me in like all of my unimportant classes. I'll get to class and then it's like, oh, have you studied for the test? So we have a test today? You know. Because typically I only have like two classes a semester that I actually care about and the rest are just like busy stuff that I need to, to graduate at this point, because I've taken all of like the main stuff for my major. Um, you know the one that checks whether or not we've mastered the skills we've been learning and training? Don't you remember Shara? Sh Sh saying, I assume that's like, the shorthand of that one chick from earlier? Can't remember. Um, I, know it's, I know she's like that silver-haired chick in the opening, I think. Uh, saying that we failed to be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Crap, totally forgot. I that you mentioned it, I guess I kind of remember saying something like that. Don't sweat it, I'm sure we'll manage somehow or another, Star. <sighs> Papa is sad. How can any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? Huh, you're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you. I swear, the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. Yeah, we probably should. Sh Shara is gonna be waiting there for it? I mean, I guess I eventually have to learn to say her name. Sounds like a plan. You know how crazy scary she gets when, she keeps so when someone keeps her waiting. I'm just gonna say Shara? 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 I don't know. I'll probably just end up saying something different every single time. Any requests? Um, hmm, something I'd like to eat, huh? How about Ron style scalloped fish and a balsamic vinegar sauce? How about you fuck off, dude? I think that's a little more than Estelle's cooking skills can handle, or our stomachs. You're right, I just want to see what kind of reaction I can get. I'll just have the usual fried fish and omelette. Well, that's more than I can do, so I can't really talk shit. I don't cook on microwave. Um, no need for anything fancy, but do try and make something edible. How rude. I can't believe he's- what, I can't actually say he's wrong. I actually do have one favor to ask for you head out. I'd like you to pick me up a copy of the Library News from the general good stores. Uh, so to get in the latest edition, got it. One copy of the Library News from the General Goods Store. Got to say, bring me some fucking money. All right, let's go. Work hard and give my regards. All right, so we can uh, we can move. So, I'm gonna be playing this with keyboard and mouse at first. I don't remember exactly how well the controls are, but I just don't feel like using my controller because it's kind of a pain in the ass when I don't have to because it just unplugs all the time, like randomly. Um, so the frame rate's really. 
it's like jumping all over the place from like 60 to 90, we might have to like limit it to 60. Because I'd rather have like a stable lower frame rate than something that's jumping all over the place. But it's the first episode of the series, there's always going to be change and stuff like that. Uh, West Bright House, and I assume this is the town. Okay. Yeah, I think I might have to. Cause that is jumping around way too much and it's making it kind of rainy. Can we save? Like, I will do that, like, right now, actually. Let's, let's go on past all of my... I think, because I'm a person who saves a lot. And if you give me, like, a thousand save slots, I will use them. So I think, like, the first, like, hundred or so are actually, um, like, legit used. So, what... Well, we're only at 20 minutes. I think we'll, we'll, we'll play on from here on. But next video, I'll probably... Because there is an option in there to, like, limit the frame rate. So I think what we'll do is limit it to 60. Because it's, it's very... A lot of times it's, it's not as noticeable on the videos. Well, also because YouTube doesn't, like, display above 60 frames anyway. So it shouldn't be as bad on the actual... Uh, recording, but for me, it kind of hurts my eyes seeing it, like, jump all over the place from, like, 90 to 60. Um, looks like you made good time. Not too early or too late, either. You just barely graduated from Sunday school. Never dreamed to have to study so hard to become bracers. Well, you're in luck. Today is the last day of training. Truth be told, though, you're the one who signed up to get braced in the first place. I don't know why you expect to get away with any of us effort. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I did. Alright, then. Let's get to it and make it through this last hazy from Shara. Um, I think, it's, I think I'm going to decide on Shara. I don't care if it's pronounced wrong. <laughs> it probably, I just usually assume. If it's not like the most generic, easy to pronounce word, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But I'm not very good at that old pronunciation thing. Oh man, look at this fucking map. I just wanted to see like a, a bigger map of the town. but So we got to find the Bracer Guild. And the General Store. That's the Orbment Factory. Yeah, here we go. So we want to get our libel, our liberal news. Uh, Mr. Reno, or liberal. Um, you're rather up early today. You come by a new pair of shoes? Now that you mention it, are there any new ones in stock? You know, like the newest Stregas? Unbelievable. You've actually already forgotten why we came in here to begin with. When I hear the shop, we're supposed to be copying a, buying a copy of the liberal new... I'm gonna... I'm not intentionally meaning this. I meant to say it the first time. It's like a joke. But now, like, I see that and I see liberal. Um, the liberal news for dad, right? Uh, of course. Uh, big collector of these shoes, haven't you? I'm afraid the new strikers aren't out yet. We're after the latest. Plus, we're not spending our fucking money on shoes. Noon, huh? That's right in the middle of our training at the guild house. Stop by again after our training is over. Sure, I'll be waiting for you. I got it. So the Bracers Guild. How do I like? Can I like move the camera? Any? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Bracer Guild. Ah, uh, there you two are. Good morning, Estelle. Good morning, Joshua. Good morning, Ina. Good morning. Is Shara here already? Yeah, she's waiting for you upstairs. Once you finish today's training, you'll finally be recognized as members of the Bracer Guild. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks. We'll do our best. Let's go. Yeah, it's silver-haired chick from the opening. The star and the hanged man, the hermit and the magician. Last of all, inversion through the wheel of fortune. Hmm, this is a difficult combination. How should I interpret this? Yo, we persona voice. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, it's a rare occasion for the both of you to show up so early. Since it's my last day of training, I figured, why not? I'm ready to get the show on the road and become a bracer myself. I give you credit for your enthusiasm, but I'm going to work you hard today in every way I can think of to make sure your high, that high-spirited attitude of yours holds up. I hope you're ready. You can feel that enthusiasm drooping already. <laughs> or dropping. Um, every time I teach you something, you somehow manage to forget it. This training is a way of trying to keep some of that information in your head instead of letting it dribble out your ears like it usually does. <laughs> Joshua, Shara's picking on me! Don't worry, Shara. While Estelle may hate studying and really everything's homework, acts rather harshly, is over naive, and has a tendency to stick her nose into everything, her instincts are sharp, so I'm sure she'll pick up on how to use an orbit with some practice. Eventually, probably. Maybe. Probably not. 
Um, I guess there's not much I can do to, uh, do now except hope for the best. Hold on a second, Joshua. So I might get the feeling that you weren't standing up for me. Well, that's odd. I'm positive I described all your best traits accurately. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Shara, uh, what were you trying to predict with your tarot cards? Your face is really intense. She's obviously trying to win the lotto numbers. Come on, what else is he looking these fortune telling for? I was just trying to get a vague reading about what would happen in the near future. Fortunately, I don't seem to have been in the right mindset to interpret the cards correctly. Well, it's because they're fucking bullshit. They don't, they don't tell you anything. You couldn't read the cards. Now that's surprising to hear. Actually, the more profound the meaning of the cards, the more difficult they become to interpret. That's not important now. I think it's time we start your final training. I gave you a brief rundown of all the information we've covered in the previous training. This is the minimal level of knowledge that Brazier should have in order to function effectively. And Estella, make sure you pay a close attention to what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is our tutorial. Uh, Orbments. Orbments are mechanical devices which operate by use of what is known as orbital energy. A variety of effects can be produced depending on the structure, the type of quartz or process septium installed, although it's only about 50 years since their invention. These devices played an integral role in all facets of life, from lights, heaters, and everyday products, from weapons, magic, and even airship. So it's kind of like steampunk magic, basically. In connection, this technological reform is commonly known as the Orbital Revolution. What the hell is a bracer? Braces are investigative and combat specialists who work to protect civilians and maintain the stability of their respective regions. They aid the community in various ways, such as exterminating monsters, committing crimes, finding lost items, and escorting people and goods. One of these things is not like the other. You know? Oh, preventing crime, finding lost items, escorting people. Okay, that seems like normal stuff. Exterminating monsters. Seems like a bit extreme. The Bracers Guild, which has established branches all across the continent, manages the affairs of the Bracers in each region. About the Liberal Kingdom. Kingdom of Libro, which we live since in the western half of the Sumerian continent, a balance of nature and deep rooted traditions. Libro is proud to be one of the leading producers of Septium on the continent, known for its high level technology. Uh, it's a key pillar, protecting its independence as we got other nations on invade. Ten years ago, Libro was invaded by the Erebonian Empire, and it was used. It was the use of orbital powered airships that saved the kingdom from defeat. Consequently, even now, our relationship with the Empire is somewhat sensitive, and thanks to the Queen's political finesse, the library on voice peace. Alright, cool, so that's like a basic, that was actually a pretty quick rundown, I enjoyed that. Um, let's see, we got a mountain of stuff to do today, I'll let you off the hook this time with a condensed review. I'm gonna speed up things now and move on to the practical portion. Ah, yeah. Uh, Shara? How is today's practical training even diff any different from the training we've done before? Sure, it's practical. That means you will be experiencing things firsthand, or since it's practical. Um, therefore, I'm going to have the both of you uh, run through everything as a real bracer job. So what you're saying is, there won't be any studying at the desk involved? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. This time you'll have to go out and make a physical effort to accomplish your task. I'll make sure to have you work work up a sweat, so I hope you're ready. Yes, that's seriously just what the doctor ordered. I uh, didn't know it was going to be an... Wait, I didn't know what I was going to do if I had to sit another day with a tush parked in the desk. Just got all worried for nothing. Well, suddenly you're all bright and cheerful, Sal. Restel? Yeah, I keep wanting to add an A. Um. Alright, let's get cracking. Let's have at it. So what do we gotta do? Confirm the details of the job you'll be performing. Before that, there's something we need to give to both of you. Ina, are they ready? Yes, they are. What are we getting? What are we getting? These are very important, so make sure not to lose them. Bracer notebook. Uh, official way to record the status. Also, anything you hear or anything you find, kind of trivial things, no matter how insignificant something may seem, always write it down. Understood. Crap, this sounds like it's going to be a pain. <laughs> That's how I feel. Oh, please tell me it was my ears playing tricks with me because I swear I only got one response. Um, I'm sure there were two. Keep an accurate account of events is important duty for all bracers. Why can't we just use Joshua's notebook? Alright then, let's begin. Look over by the door, you can see there's a bulletin board standing there. I mean, shouldn't they already know this if they've been in training and gone to this building multiple different times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh god. No, I didn't mean to do it. Don't yell at me, please. 
go. The movement's a little awkward, but... Uh, so direct quest, training move while searching. How do I... Is it accepted? I guess it's accepted. Can be clicking on the books tab of the items menu. Or configuring a bracer book shortcut button. Ooh. Fancy. Make sure you're able to see what's posted without any trouble. Yes! We have confirmed our ability to see and read. Man, all this talk about duty is starting to cramp my style. I'm sure, there are a lot of rules to follow, but there's an equal level of responsibility in the jobs themselves. I think being a bracer calls for much more than, some, than someone with a half hearted attitude. Uh, I guess you're right. I just have to be more motivated. What? Is that so? Oh, is that so? I think it's just a, a bug with the font or something. Had a change of heart, have you? You betcha! Um, motivation seeks off and let's get to work on your next task. I mean, I would kind of like to save it in the video, but apparently the game's not going to let me do that. I'm going to head across the street to Mr. Melver's Orbital Factory. He has gracious and taken time in his work still with the plain things, so make sure to be in your best behavior. Oh, okay. I thought maybe we were going to get the chance to, you know, walk over there, save the game in the episode. Because I don't, you know. So you can do magic stuff and abilities here. Use quartz. Arts have a wide range of effects. The bracer business is a pretty risky occupation. Anyways, this is about as much as I can explain. I'll leave the technical details to the expert. So, Mr. Melders, if you wouldn't mind taking over from here. Oh, don't you want me to walk over? Oh. Okay, so, orbits. Okay, regardless, at the end of this section, we'll end the video. Um, mechanical devices will exhibit an array of effects of the insulation of various types of quartz. Um, your battle enhance the user's physical abilities and make it possible to use magic. Height. Simply put the shape of the fixed elemental slots in a line so you can connect them very. Uh, oh god, I don't remember all this. I think I vaguely remember this, but. I think it's one of those things where it sounds much more complicated than it actually is. EP, which is needed for magic, will also serve you a max increase according to the number of open slots. I recommend it open them all as soon as possible. Uh huh. In other words, a number of peculiar effects can be produced by using the orbital energy stored for these mechanical devices. Since orbital arts can be a mouthful, they're almost universally referred to as arts. Could just call them like OAs or something. Um, probably ought to have called them that from the get go. There are several types of arts, but in order to be able to use them, the corresponding quartz must first be synthesized at an orbital factory. Okay. The type of arts changes depending on the elemental value and combination of installed quartz. Basically, if you want to use art water arts, all you have to do is install quartz with a water elemental value. Um, they're much more complex, but I think this. Well, I don't like that because. You know, just have a hard time following the, the simple explanation. The circuits, um, the vast number of effects, and raise the owner's ability while simul simultaneously making it possible to use new arts. Um, mm -hmm. There are also fixed slots which only a certain type of element of quartz can be installed. This being the case, when you synthesize a new quartz, be sure to check your orbit and decide where you'll be installing it ahead of time. So, what is it that would you like to know about? Okay, so we'll do Seif. Fragments of Septum, which are dropped by monsters, they're divided into seven types. There's the types. Uh, get exchanged for Mira almost anywhere, but at the Orbital Factory, it can be used to synthesize quartz and open orbit slots to install. Uh, nothing. Please. My brain is gonna explode from all this knowledge. Yo! That amount you should be able to synthesize a few quartz. Now I want you to begin by first making an elemental quartz that will work with each of your particular ornaments. Any elemental quartz for K, but for Joshua it has to be time elemental. Okay, I got it. Talk marker, so time, I mean, it doesn't matter. But we'll do that next time because we are already a little bit over time. Um, Overall, videos in this series might be a little bit longer than, say, like, the previous series, Star Ocean, which had about... I tried to keep things to under 30 minutes, whereas these will probably average closer to closer to 40, just because the game's longer. It's not, like, super, super long, which kind of one of the... Because there were several other games I kind of was thinking about playing. There were a couple other JRPGs that were I was thinking about, but they were all a little bit longer. 
and I'm really wary about doing any game over 40 hours just because it really starts to drag when I'm doing an LP format. I really only like to do that during like um, what has typically been like summer when I have more free time to record, but yeah. We will go ahead and end things here, guys, so uh, I make sure you 87, stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys!